Oh, ah. Inside this box, I have the Godox 140 centimeters honeycomb softbox. I bought it for around 65 US dollars. Let's see if it's worth the price. First of all, I want to move this thing aside and explain to you briefly why I even got this thing in the first place. I already have a softbox. I'm using the nice photo 90 centimeter wide softbox and it's really great. I have no complaints at all. I bought this thing, the Godox softbox, just because I was plain curious to see how much of a difference a bigger softbox is going to make compared to my smaller one. Let's open this package, assemble the softbox, and then I'm going to compare this one to my nice photo 90 centimeters wide softbox. Okay, let's see what we have inside. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And also the carrying case. So we have rods, then this is, I guess, the soft box itself. Wow, I like how you can fold the whole thing in a very compact uh, package, basically. These are the diffusion materials. You have two layers. This is the inner diffusion. This is the outer diffusion. Then this part, I guess, it's the outer part of the softbox that connects to this Bowen's mount. And this is the grid. And it's probably going to be huge because it's 140 centimeters wide. Look at that. Look at that. I think I can fill the whole frame with this grid. Pretty much. No. One annoying thing about this Godox softbox is that you have to assemble it from scratch, whereas the nice photo softbox comes already pre-assembled, just have to unfold the thing, and that's pretty much it. So if you're going to move from a location to a location a lot with your light, maybe this softbox from Godox is not really the best option. But for me, it's not really a big problem because I'm basically shooting only inside this room. So I'm going to assemble it now, and that's pretty much it. And by the way, there is a video explaining how to assemble this thing from scratch. If you want to watch the video, I'm going to leave a link down below. And let's start assembling it. Let's see how long it's going to take me to assemble uh, the whole thing. Okay, so I have just finished assembling this huge softbox and I can't really fit it in the frame because it's really huge. And it didn't take me that long. It took me about 20 minutes to assemble the whole thing. I was expecting to fiddle with it for at least like an hour, but it took me about 20 minutes. So it's all good. Now let me put on this softbox um, on my light and see if it's gonna give me a softer light or not. By the way, at the moment, I'm using the 90 centimeters uh, softbox from Nice Photo. So let's put on this bad boy from Godox. I've just mounted the Godox uh, softbox on my Godox SL60W light. Let's turn on the light and see how different it looks to my Nice Photo 90 centimeters softbox. So three, Two, one. Ooh, wow. This thing is huge. Let me show it to you one second. 
Look how big this thing is. It's huge. It's bigger than my table. All right, so the exposure looks pretty much the same to me. I didn't lose any light output by using this bigger softbox compared to the nice four to 90 centimeters softbox. The exposure looks pretty much the same. Maybe I get just a little bit less exposure with this uh, bigger softbox from Godox, but overall it looks pretty much identical. So do you see any differences between me using this big softbox from Godox compared to what I was using before, the nice photo 90 centimeters softbox? If you see some differences, let me know down below. I can barely see any difference. I mean, it does look like the table is more equally bright because the light source now is bigger. And maybe just maybe the roll off, the light roll off on my face is a bit smoother. Not as aggressive as it was on the smaller softbox. You know what? I'm going to remove now the table and just sit in front of the camera, put again the small softbox and then the big one and see if there is any difference or not. So I've just mounted again the nice 4 to 90 centimeter softbox and I've also turned off the rim light on this side. So now as you can see, I have a shadow in here because I really want to just use this light to expose myself to see if there is any difference or not. So this is how the nice 4 to 90 centimeter softbox looks like. All right, so now I'm going to mount the Godox 140 centimeter softbox and let's see if there is any difference or not. All right, this is how the shot looks like with the big softbox from Godox. Do you see any differences? If so, let me know down below. I can barely see any differences, to be honest. I do actually see a little bit more light on this side right now because the light source is bigger, probably it's spilling more light, although I was using a grid on the nice photo softbox and also on this softbox. So if you see any differences between the two, let me know down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. And I guess I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.